Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nicular Nick here, back with another video. And today, we are covering probably the most unknown nerf and strike blaster. This, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, is called the Switch Shot. And it was made for a nerf game that was on the Wii. And I have this black Wii remote with Wii Motion Plus inside. And this is no different from something like the Fire Strike. I can't really show you that because it's upstairs. Yeah, I'm downstairs. <laughs> Anyways, this is a pretty unique blaster. It's, um, like it's shooting, it, it's okay, but the main selling point is the fact that in the game itself, you can. Look over here, you can press this orangey button, which fl flips that down. You can pull that out. This is the main piece. You can toss that away, grab a Wii remote, and then put this in. And then flip that back up. And so then, whenever you pull the trigger, it presses the B button. And... Also, what I found cool is that in the game, these iron sights actually match up with the game sights. It, it really does, and that's so cool. And I really like that part about it. So we can take this Wii Remote, put it back here, grab our other piece, and put it back in. I'm doing it off camera quickly. Okay, here we go. So... It has one tactical rail, which I have three different types of attachments that you could fit onto it. First is this grip. You can fit on grips to it. Just mount the camera. And then, this is bad mounting. Here, let's go like this. So like, so like this. Or you could also get a flashlight. This is the only one that works. The one on the recon, that does not work. I need to fix it. Okay, maybe this one, uh, I already regret putting this one on. Because as you can see, the flashlight blocks your fingers. You could put a flashlight on there. You could also put um, this. A dark storage, which, in my opinion, is the best for this. And then you can take a dart. But this storage is for another video. Anyways, I basically went over the blaster. And now I will show you guys it firing. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, it holds two dart storage right here. Trying to do this while keeping it on camera and not showing my face because I don't want to show my face as I explained in a recent video. Here's the three darts loaded in. It looks a little weird compared to like the fire strike, but that's how they did it. And yes, you can keep these darts in while you have the Wii Remote up top. I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Its performance isn't bad. Also, I won't be playing the video game because, well, that's f for maybe another day, but at the moment I just don't want to do it. Just because it's not that fun. It's pretty boring. Go watch someone who can actually record it like Aaron Esser. Best. Well, he, he probably got the best capture. Hey, that was pretty good. That was a good shot. Anyways, this was the Nerf Switch Shot EX3. It's not bad. I've been doing ratings in the comments of all of them out of 10. And for the recon, I gave it, I think, a, I think I gave it a 6 out of 10. I don't know. But for this one, I will give it 
because it feels really comfortable, really comfortable. It has decent performance, similar to a Fire Strike, and it has a tactical rail below. Uh, overall, I'd say this deserves... Uh, I'm just thinking. This deserves... Uh, a 5 out of 10. I was, if, you know what? You know what? Forget I said that. Forget I said that. This deserves a 4.5 out of 10 rating. Because I think the Fire Strike would be a 5 and a Jolt would be a 4. So I gotta say, this is a 4.5. Pretty decent. If you're wondering what will be next in my next video... In what will be next in Nick's next video, I will either do the Jolt, the Reflex, or this guy right here, the Long Strike. Because this is technically End Strike, even though it's technically Elite. I don't know. I will do either one of those, or if I find any of the darts, I will do this one. This very even more forgotten one because it's McDonald's I may do this if I find the dart for it but that's for another day I'm close to finishing the end strike series once I finish that I will move on to elite but before actually before I do elite I'll do some side sub series like I have some vortex I will definitely do dart tag before I move on to elite and, yeah, I think I might do that Iron Man one over there. Uh, maybe the Fortnite one. But, yeah, that's all I have to say for this video. I won't do the Rhino Fire for a while, because I don't have batteries for it. Anyways, that was a decent video, in my opinion. Thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.